Hey, hey, hey! Today, today is a good day. It's Teacher Dell, and our lesson for today will be the process that shape and change our environment and the difference between hazards and disasters. Let us first discuss the process that shape and change our environment. First, we have the plate tectonics, atmospheric process, human activities, and biological accumulation. Now first, let us define plate tectonics. With the movements of the Earth's plate tectonics or tectonic plates, it leads to mountain building, volcanism, and ocean formation. Then we also have the atmospheric process, and from the term itself, everything happens in the atmosphere. Thus, there are the formation of clouds, precipitation, or most commonly known as rain, and the movements of the wind. Also, we have our human activities. In human activities, there is our urbanization. With the growing population, the rural areas shifts to urban areas as society adapts. And that is when towering buildings and condos are made. We also have the extracting of resources. This includes mining and logging. And the geoengineering is a type of climate intervention or climate engineering that aims to mitigate or reduce the adverse effects of global warming. Now the last process is a biological accumulation. In biological accumulation, we have the reef building or the reef formation. This happens when a coral larvae attaches to a rock or anything that where the coral grows and expand. We have the colony formation or the growth in numbers of organisms and forestation wherein this is the establishment of forest growth. Now let us proceed to defining the difference between hazard and disaster. But before that, let me ask you this question. Why is the Philippines one of the most hazardous countries in the world? Any guess? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so one of the answers is there are 20 tropical cyclones a year. Now that is just an average. In a year, 20 tropical cyclones pass through the Philippines. And we experience daily earthquakes whether it's a minor or a major earthquake there is always an earthquake in the philippines and of course not to forget there are more than 20 active volcanoes now what is what is the reason why we have so many active volcanoes in the Philippines? Now, if you know the answer, comment down below and see who gets the right answer. Now, let us proceed to defining hazard and disaster. And what's the difference between the two of them? First, let us define hazard. Hazard is a dangerous phenomenon, substance, human activity or condition that may cause loss of life, injury, or other health impacts, property damage, loss of livelihoods and service, social and economic disruption, or environmental. How about, let's take a look at disaster. So disaster is defined as a serious disruption of the functioning of a community or a society involving widespread human, material, economic, or environmental losses and impacts which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources. Now let us take a closer look between the difference with hazard and disaster. Hazard, a dangerous phenomenon, substance, human activity, or condition. So this may include bombings, typhoons, earthquakes, all the natural hazards, and human activities that may cause something bad, like the bombings, nuclear bombings, and stuff like that. 
So, for example, there's another one, the chemical leakages. No disaster. A serious disruption of functioning of a community or a society. Now, if a certain community is in a disaster, it is in a state of emergency. Now, let's take a look at it. With a great hazard can lead to disaster. For example, with our typhoon, when Typhoon Yolanda hit Philippines, it caused a state of emergency, a serious disruption, losses of life, livelihood. Now let's go back to the full definition of disaster. Functioning, disruption, function of, of a community or society in, involving widespread human, material, economic, environmental losses and impacts which exceeds the ability of, of the affected community or society to cope up using its own resources. Now going back to Typhoon Yolanda, Yolanda is a hazard to the community. And because of this hazard, it caused disaster. A disaster that made Leite or Tacloban unable to cope up with the losses, material, human, environmental losses on its own. That's why during that time, Philippines really, really needed a lot of help, especially Tacloban. Now let's go back and take a look at the major difference between hazard and disaster and how you can differentiate them easily. Now hazard is a dangerous phenomena, while a disaster is a serious disruption. Because of a hazard, it causes disaster. Number one example that we have is a typhoon that hit the Philippines, Yolanda. And because of Yolanda, there are major losses human losses, economic losses, environmental losses, and Tacloban was unable to cope up on supporting itself to rise up on its own. And because of that, it's in a state of emergency. That's why we needed help. And that was a disaster. I hope you understood hazard and disasters. Our next lesson, classifying the types of hazards. We have two types of hazards, natural and man-made hazards. And under natural hazard, we have biological hazard, geological hazard, and hydrometeorological hazard. Now we have here the following hazards and I want you to classify it. So we will be telling you the correct answers on our next video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all. Thank you for watching. This has been Teacher Dell, and it's a great day. Bye!